University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. In terms of full-time student numbers, the University of London is the largest in the UK. And tonight, its two founding colleges are fighting it out for a place in the second round. Some rivalry is said to exist between them, so we could see a closely fought contest. The losers could earn the right to return for the playoffs if their score is high enough. University College London was established in 1826 by the poet Thomas Campbell and the lawyer Henry Broom to open up higher education in England to students of any race or religion. Both of them were strongly influenced by the social reformer Jeremy Bentham, who is often regarded as the institution's spiritual father and whose skeletal remains are housed in its South Cloister. Notable alumni include Mahatma Gandhi, the philosopher John Stuart Mill, the birth control pioneer Murray Stopes, and all of Coldplay, with an average age of 28 and representing around 37,000 students. Let's meet the UCL team. Hi, my name's George Mitkoff. I'm from Warwickshire, and I'm reading French and German. I'm Sophia Walker. I'm from Boulder, Colorado, and I'm doing a master's in translation. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Robert Johnstone from Worcester Park in Surrey and I'm studying for a Master's in Medical Imaging. Hello, I'm Fei-Yu Fang, I'm from Leicester, and I'm studying Physics. King's College London was founded by a group of politicians and churchmen who wanted a Church of England alternative to UCL, which was famously labelled the godless institution of Gower Street. Alumni include the writers Thomas Hardy, Virginia Woolf, Radcliffe Hall, Susan Hill and Anita Bruckner, the philosopher Alain de Botton and the comedian Rory Bremner, representing a student population of around 29,000 and with an average age of 23. Let's meet the King's team. Hi, good evening. My name's Liam Sang. I'm from Wanstead in North East London and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Priyan Jones. I'm from Wrexham in North Wales and I'm studying for an MA in Early Modern History. And here's their captain. Hi, I'm Anthony Chater. I'm from Surrey and I'm studying for a Masters in Music. Hello, I'm Katie Heath, I'm from Meppershaw in Bedfordshire, and I'm studying midwifery. OK, the rules are unchanging, so fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. What short word links a frequently covered song by Dimitri Tiomkin and Ned Washington, a 1996 non-fiction work by John Krakauer about the US traveller Chris McCandless, and a 1991 family biography by Jung Chang? UCL Walker. Wild. Wild is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on quotations. In each case, give the single word that completes the following. All three answers rhyme with one another. Firstly, from a 1928 work by the British astrophysicist Arthur Eddington, I shall use the phrase to express this one-way property of time, which has no analogue in space. Times what? Arrow. Arrow. Yeah. Arrow. <laughs> Correct. Secondly, from a portrait of the artist as a young man by James Joyce, Ireland is the old sow that eats her what? I need you to spell the word here. Yarrow. Let's give it a try. Yarrow. Y-A-R-R. No, no, it's Farrow. F-A-R-R-O-W. And finally, from Shakespeare's Hamlet, not a wit we defy augury. There's a special provenance in the fall of a... Sparrow. Sparrow. Sparrow is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. The origins of which US memorial lie in a proposal by the state historian Doan Robinson to carve granite pillars known as the needles... UCL Mitkoff. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on performers named along with the Who and the Kinks in the title of Clinton Halen's 2012 work, All the Mad Men. The Journey to the Dark Side of English Rock. Name each person from the description. First, a founder member of Pink Floyd, replaced by David Gilmour in 1968. His solo albums include The Mad Cat Laughs. Oh, my God. I have no clue. No, I don't. My fiance's going to be shouting at the screen. Do you know any Pink Floyd members? Roger Waters? No, I have no clue. He was the guy who was on LSD a lot of the time. Um, if you have a name, guess it, but otherwise um, Roger Waters. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's Sid Barrett. 
Secondly, a folk musician who died in 1974, little known in his lifetime. His albums included Five Leaves Left and Pink Moon. His sister, Gabrielle, a noted actor, has done much to promote his work. Nick Drake. Correct. A musician born in London in 1947, his song All the Mad Men appears on a 1970 album and he covered Pink Floyd's See Emily Play on a later album. Not a clue. No idea. Okay. Pulse. That was David Bowie. Oh. Ten points for this. In evolutionary <laughs> biology, what term... Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ten points for this. In evolutionary biology, what term describes speciation that occurs when a population divided by a geographic ah. barrier... King Sang. Allopatric. Allopatric speciation is correct, yes. Your first bonuses, Kings, are on philosophers, according to the 1907 version of the Nuttall Encyclopedia. Name each person from the description. Firstly, born at Malmesbury, he wrote a number of works, all more or less leading up to the doctrine that the absolute sovereign power in all matters of right and wrong is vested in the state as the achieved fact of the emancipation of the race from savagery. Speak up, Is it Locke or Hobbes? Um... I think it's Hobbes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hobbes. Hobbes is correct. Which German, quote, by his critical method, did for philosophy what Copernicus did for astronomy. He centralised the intelligence in the reason or soul, as the latter did the planetary system in the sun. Kant. Kant. Yeah, Kant. Yeah. Kant. Kant is correct. A native of Thrace, he was the oracle of the scholastic philosophers and theologians in the Middle Ages and is the author of a great number of writings which covered a vast field of speculation. Is it Aristotle? Um, yeah. Aristotle? Aristotle is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. He was architect general unto four mighty kings, two heroic queens, and that illustrious and never-to-be-forgotten Prince Henry. These words refer to which architect born in 1573? His notable designs include the Queen's House in Greenwich, Wilton... King's Chater. Inigo Jones. Inigo Jones is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the lanthanide elements, Kings. What is the most abundant of the lanthanide elements? Named after an astronomical body, it is the major constituent of mish metal used to make light of flints. Cerium. 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 Yeah. Cerium. Correct. Permanent magnets used, for example, in aircraft and wind turbine generators, as well as in computer hard drives, are often made of an alloy of iron, boron and which lanthanide element? Its name means new twin. Um, neodymium. Neodymium. Yeah. Neodymium. Neodymium is correct. And finally, in 1885, the Austrian chemist Karl Auer von Welsbach discovered neodymium and which other lanthanide? Its name means green twin. Praseodymium. Praseodymium. Dymium, yeah, praseodymium. Praseodymium. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture start, you'll see a map showing the locations of three major industrial heritage museums in the UK. All three are themed around the same specific activity. Ten points if you can tell me what the industry is. Kings Jones. Mining. Specifically? Coal mining. Coal mining is right. <laughs> Following on from that map of coal mining museums, your picture bonus is three more maps showing industrial heritage museums in Britain give the specific industry or product that is their theme. Historic county boundaries have been marked to help you. Firstly, for five, what product links these museums? Um, so it's kind of Derbyshire. Mm. So we're looking at... Milling? Tin? It's no. not tin, it'd be um, like cotton, maybe? Cotton. 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 Cotton? Correct. Right. Secondly, this is the location of the National Museum dedicated to what resource? Do you mean kind of yeah. North Wales? <laughs> <laughs> um, any thoughts? Slate. Yes. Slate. Give me a shout. Yeah. Slate. Slate is correct. Finally, what general category of industrial product links these museums? Oh, pottery, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pottery? Yeah. Like the potteries are around there? Yeah. Pottery? Pottery is correct, a general ceramics. 
Right, uh, ten points for this. Of what sport did George Orwell write? It is not a 20th century game and nearly all modern-minded people dislike it. The Nazis, for instance. The words appear in an essay about E.W. Hornung's Gentleman Burglar Raffles. UCL Walker. Cricket. Cricket is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on British history, UCL. Which conflict saw the passing of the legal instrument known as the Self-Denying Ordinance, which excluded certain categories of people from military command? Catholics, maybe? No, it's going to be like a psychological thing, like, um... Post-traumatic stress disorder. You want which conflict? No, you want... Uh, sure, yeah. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. Just guess. Boer War. Yeah, Boer War? No, it's the English Civil War. <laughs> Secondly, because MPs could resign their seats but peers could not, members of the House of Lords were forced to resign their commissions. These included Edward Montague, the parliamentary commander at the Battle of Edge Hill. Which earldom did he hold? Richmond. What's his name? Uh, Ed Montague. Montague. Richmond? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. just okay. any... Uh, Richmond? No, it was Manchester. The self-denying ordinance paved the way for the creation of which military force commanded by Sir Thomas Fairfax? Territorial Army. Yeah, that's a good guess. Territorial Army? No, it's the New Model Army. Ten points for this. The communication of the dead is tongued with fire beyond the language of the living. These words are engraved on which poet's Westminster Abbey memorial stone unveiled in 1967 two years after his death. King's Heath. Siegfried Sassoon. Mm -hmm. Anyone like to buzz from UCL? UCL Walker. T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot is correct, yes. <laughs> Quotation from the four quartets. So you get a set of bonuses, UCL, on amino acids. What term denotes the chemical bond formed by the reaction between adjacent carboxyl and amino groups with the elimination of water. Peptides, maybe? Is that a bond? bond? I wouldn't have said Is that it? was a bond. Yeah. So it's a peptide, isn't it? No, it's a amino. Is it a covalent bond? Maybe. No. Covalent bond? No, it's a peptide bond. <laughs> Secondly, the first report of large scale commercial production of an amino acid occurred in 1908. When what flavouring agent was prepared from seaweed? It is known by the E number 621. Oh, it's um, monosodium glutamate. Oh. Um, monosodium glutamate. Correct. With hydrogen as its R group, what is the simplest amino acid? Alanine. 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 No, it's glycine. Ten points for this. The equation S equals K log W appears on the gravestone of which Austrian ah. physicist? King Sang. Boltzmann. Boltzmann is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on sisters in 20th century US fiction, Kings London. The musically gifted Siamese twins Elektra and Iphigenia Binyevsky are characters in which cult novel of 1989 by the US author Catherine Dunn? Any, any ideas? Mm. Sorry, we don't have an answer. It's geek love. Ruthie and Lucille are siblings raised by a series of relatives, including their unconventional Aunt Sylvie, in the fictional town of Fingerbone, Idaho, in which novel of 1980 by Marilyn Robinson? Mm -hmm. um, we don't know, sorry. It's housekeeping. What surname is shared by the faded screen stars Jane and Blanche in both Henry Farrell's 1960 suspense novel, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and the 1962 film adaptation with Bette Davis and Joan Crawford? I know, I know this, but I've forgotten. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Smith. Smith? No, it's Hudson. Right, we're going to take a music round for your music starter. You're going to hear a piece of classical music by a French composer. Ten points if you can give me the composer's name. You 
Michelle Metcalf. Ravel. It is Ravel, piano concerto in G. As a young composer, Ravel made five unsuccessful attempts to win France's prestigious Prix de Rome scholarship. Your music bonuses are works by three more major French composers, likewise overlooked for that prize. Five points for each composer you can name. Firstly, this composer, he made four failed attempts at the prize. <laughs> Saint Saint. No, that's Paul Ducat, the Sorcerer's <laughs> Apprentice. Secondly, this composer, he tried twice without success. Uh, Boulez. No, that's Mess I Am, Quartet for the End of Time. Finally, this composer who also entered twice and failed. We'll try Saint-Saëns this time. It is Saint-Saëns. <laughs> it is. He's a from Carnival of the Animals. Right, ten points for this. Which two countries concluded the Treaty of Aten in 1497 and the Treaty of Perpetual Peace in 1502? The latter lasted only until 1513, when one signatory invaded the other, meeting with disastrous defeat and the death of their king. UCL Walker. France and England? Nope. One of you buzz from Kings? Kings Heath. France and Spain? No, it was England and Scotland. Ten points for this. So the north of modern-day Beirut, which ancient seaport was particularly noted for the export... UCL Metcalf. Tyre. No, you lose five points. Uh, which ancient seaport was particularly noted for the export of papyrus? The Phoenician alphabet was developed there and its name is thought to be the origin of the Greek word for book. Kings Chater. Acre. No, it's Byblos. Ten points for this. Aquae Sextiae was the Roman name of which city of southern France? The site of a university founded in 1409, it lies close to Mont Saint-Victoire, a favourite subject of the artist Cézanne. UCL Walker. Aix-en-Provence? Correct. <laughs> Three questions on China in the 1920s for your bonuses now, UCL. According to its official history, the Chinese Communist Party held its first national congress in the French concession of which city? Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah. Shanghai. Correct. Which nationalist commander was behind the Shanghai massacre of April 1927? He purged the Communist Party after it had helped him secure the city in the northern expedition. The nationalist <laughs> commander would be Shanghai Shek. Yeah. Maybe. Or could it be Sennepis? Um, I don't know. Try Chiang Kai-shek. I don't know. Try Chiang Kai-shek. Yeah. Uh, nominate Walker. Chiang Kai-shek. Correct. You've now taken the lead. And in December 1927, a communist revolt briefly captured which southern city? Its commander, Ye Ting, was scapegoated by the party and left for exile. Nanchang. Uh, nominate Fang. Nanchang. No, it was Guangzhou or Canton. Right, ten points for this. Long listed for the Man Booker Prize in 2017, which novel by Zadie Smith takes its title from a 1936... UCL Walker. Swing Time. Swing Time is correct. <laughs> Three questions on the poet Robert Southey. A leading figure of the early Romantic movement, which of Southey's contemporaries collaborated with him in 1794 on the three-act drama The Fall of Robespierre? Yeah. Involved in the revolution. The right period. Yeah. I, I yeah. think that's a good guess. Wordsworth. No, it was Coleridge. As poet laureate, Southey became embroiled in controversy after the unauthorised publication of his early dramatic poem about which 14th century English revolutionary? Um, could it be about the Peasants' Revolt? Yes, so so that's that's Watt Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Watt Tyler. Yeah, Watt Tyler. Thank you. Watt Tyler? Correct. Who attacked Southey in his 1809 work, English Bards and Scotch Reviewers? 
Southey later denounced him as belonging to a satanic school of poetry. <laughs> um, no idea. This was around at the time. I'm trying to think of poets at the time. I don't know. What year was it? 1790s, was, wasn't it? Yeah. When was Byron? Well, we better have yeah, an answer, I think. Yeah, try Byron. <laughs> Byron. Byron is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture question now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a photograph of a building. Ten points if you can name its principal architect. Use Hill Metcalf. Is it Gary? It is Frank Gary, the Museum of Pop Culture in Seattle. <laughs> it's regarded as an example of blobism or blobitecture. That is architecture based on complex organic forms. Your picture bonuses are three more examples of blobitecture. This time I want you to name the city in which each is located. Firstly, for five, this is on the outskirts of which European city? Helpful wording has, of course, been removed. At Munich. Good guess. At the Allianz Arena, maybe? Yeah. I think in Munich. Munich. Okay. Okay. I've never seen it. Munich. Munich is right. Secondly, in which US city is this? Chicago, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Or, or L.A.? I don't know. Um, I can try mm -hmm. Chicago. OK, with Chicago. you, I think. Yeah. Why, well, I don't know. I don't know. In Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. That is the Aqua Tower in Chicago. Yes. And finally, this building is in which UK city? Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham. Selfridge's building in Birmingham is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In mammalian anatomy, what term denotes a thin wall of tissue that divides a structure into two parts? Such as the... UCL Johnstone. Septum. Septum is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on pregnancy. Providing a buffer against physical damage and helping to stabilise temperature, what name is given to the fluid that surrounds the foetus in the womb? Yeah. Amniotic. Correct. The foetus lies free in the amniotic fluid, connected to the uterus, by what spongy, disc-like mass of tissue via the umbilical cord? Placenta. Placenta. Correct. From the Old French for a cap, what short name is given to the amnion or membrane that covers the foetus? A poll. Is it a poll? She was born with a poll, like a thing over her face. Just um, a guess. A call. Call is correct, yes. Ten points for this. Augustus Henry Fitzroy, the third Duke of Grafton and Henry Addington, later the first Viscount Sidmouth, both succeeded Prime Ministers who bore what surname? Use Hill Metcalf. Pitt. Pitt is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, UCL, are on plants. What is the common name for plants of the Polypody genus? Species of which include lady, maidenhair, and sword. Ferns. Ferns? Ferns. 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 Fern? Correct. What is the common name for Pteridium aquilinum, a common fern with large triangular fronds that can be poisonous to livestock? Poison ivy? No. 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 Yeah, I don't thing? know. Try poisonous. it. Oh, it's, um... Come on. Um, Just guess. Poison ivy. No, it's bracken. From the Greek for seed, what name denotes the reproductive cells that develop into new ferns without fusing with other reproductive cells? Spores. Yeah, they're spores. Spores? Spores is correct. Three and a half minutes to go, ten points for this. Which two consecutive letters of the alphabet are the initials of five actors whose on-screen roles have included Gabriel Oak, Carolyn Burnham, Jack Ryan, Mrs Robinson and Zorro? King Sang. A.B. A.B. is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these are your bonuses, kings. They're on history. Three emperors, three eights is a mnemonic for remembering the year of three emperors. In which country in 1888? Japan. Japan? No, it's Germany. Secondly, name two of the three men who served as US president in 1881. Taft and Garfield. 
No, Garfield was one. Arthur and Hayes were the other two, so I can't accept that. Who was pontiff at the end of the most recent year of three popes in 1978? John Paul II. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which SI base unit is defined in terms of the transition between the two ah. hyperfine... King See, uh, second. Second is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on geological periods named after geographical areas. Firstly, which period is named after a mountain range between the basins of the Rhine and the Rhone? Jurassic. 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 Correct. Named after a national subdivision, which period is sometimes known as the Age of Fish? Pleistocene. 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 No, it's Devonian. Finally, which period of the Paleozoic era is named after a city and region of Western Russia? Silurian. Silurian. Yeah. Silurian. 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 No, it's Permian. Oh. Ten points for this. Electromagnetic radiation with a frequency of one petahertz would fall in what region of the spectrum? King Sang. Uh, ultraviolet. Correct. <laughs> These purposes are on professional cycling. In professional cycling, the term Grand Tour denotes multi-week stage races in which three European countries? France, Spain, Italy. France, Spain and Italy. Correct. Known as the Cannibal, who won a record 11 Grand Tours between 1968 and 74? Don't know. It's Eddie Merckx. In September 2017, who became only the third man to achieve the double of winning both the Tour de France and the Vuelta a España in the same year? And the first since 1978. Chris Froome. Chris Froome is correct. Ten points for this. Which sport is the subject of the 1970 book Only the Ball Was White by the US writer Robert W. Peterson? <laughs> King's Chaser. Baseball. Baseball is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on plays by Edward Albee. In each case, name the play from the description. First, Albee's breakthrough play, written in 1958 and concerning a publishing executive and a stranger sitting on a bench in New York Central Park. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? No, it's the zoo story. Concerning an <laughs> imperious old and at the dawn... King's College London have 145, the University College London have 180. Well, you were going like a train there at the end. Who knows, <laughs> if we'd had another five minutes, you might well have overtaken them, but I'm um, sadly you couldn't make up the distance. But thank you very much for joining us, Kings. UCL, that's a great score. Look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. Thank you. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from King's College London. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from University College London. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.